So, tonight's vlog, I'm going to share with you the best places to hang out in the city of Berno. Uh, I'm going to walk around spontaneously, know the way I do, shout with the locals. I'm already with great locals here. Hi. Since I'm here, hi. since I'm around, these guys have been very nice to me. Some of them have already taken me around this, uh, this city multiple times. So, hey, and I met these guys again. We are all also roommates. So they say, hey, we're going to take you around. So let's go, let's go, let's find out. Because this city is known for a party city as well. So let's go around and spontaneously shout with countless people we meet on the way. This is the main square. Yes. And this is a good, a good bar, yeah? Pivo, uh, Pivova. I think it's another bar, yeah. And in the main square, the main square is also one of the best places to hang out. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah. Also, the uh, Bruno Castle is okay. a really nice place. Yeah. From there are beautiful views. Yes, so, especially in the night. Yeah, yeah, especially. I was there in the afternoon. <laughs> it's and nice. Right there, you can see the big black. Yeah, uh, yeah. They said that this is like uh, just like the clock. Yeah. Uh, the clock in Prague, but this is the the one for Bodno. Yeah? Czech people, especially uh, from Prague, they yeah. uh, make uh, fun of it because it looks how it looks. Yeah, yes, so. because, because they they want to always uh, uh, say that their city is the best. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> they are bossing the boss of the people of uh, Bodno. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going with you. Uh, I'm just following you guys walking okay, around. Okay. So just okay, we can experience some, some other places. Yeah, I'm not local, so I don't know. Yeah, no, much no. places, but it is from Plevin. Pleasant. Pleasant. Yes. Sorry, Pleasant. So uh, more more close to to Prague. It's more more close to Prague. So that is why. I know it's in Kalmy Valley. It's after one businessman that got shot. So this tram, uh, I like the especially in Bruno, it's okay. called Shalina. Shalina. Yes. Okay. It's not a tram. It's a Shalina. Shalina. All oh, right. I like I like this style. Yeah. Uh, in France, it's different yeah. one, but this one also have another different shape. It's nice. Oh, nice. Oh, you're live. Yes. Oh, nice. How are you? <laughs> what what is it? They, this is uh, TikTok or what? Twitch, Twitch. Twitch. Okay. Uh, that is nice. That is nice. Look at the Twitch man, man. The Twitch man of the city. <laughs> Tell your people to subscribe to my channel, Joel Tamara, YouTuber. Look at it. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, Joel Tamara. Yes, yes. Yes, thank you, man. Yes. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Do you do? Enjoy. Enjoy, do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Enjoy. 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 Oh, nice. Nice. So, Svetlo, Oh, nice. <laughs> The street is very colorful in the night. Oh, it's changed. Like the, the, the lights are changing. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it will light for some minutes and hope for some minutes or for some seconds. But there is a design that I like, but it is off now.
Let me make some interviews here. Maybe they can share. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Hello, girls. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. How are you? Good. Are you from Slovakia? No, from here. From here. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I don't know. I'm already in Slovakia because I'm going. That is my next destination. My spirit is already there, and I'm here. Okay. I want to know. Like, I'm YouTuber. This is my friend. So we are just walking around trying to know the best places for nightlife in the city. So we are not local. So, and as a YouTuber, I'm making this vlog to be able to help young students or young people that are coming around the city for holidays, how they can be able to move, you know, to hang out, to meet the locals, to make some friends. So I'd like to know if you can share 30 seconds, the best places for you guys to meet to go and dance, to have a drink. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. So probably the best ones are Wild Things. It's a karaoke bar. Okay. It's not far from here actually. Okay. Uh, there's always a lot of fun. Or there may be uh, the bar High Five. The bar High Five? Yeah. Okay. It's how many kilometers or how many meters from here? Is it in the old town? Or? Yeah, it's in the city center. It's Both of them are like 500 meters from where we're standing, but in the opposite directions, the wild things are this way, that way, mm. and high five that way. Okay, high five is this way. Yeah. So we are in between the two. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. So repeat the name slowly for the for the yeah. for my viewers. <laughs> okay. Here. Just slowly. Wild things karaoke bar. Okay. And high five. High five. Yeah. Okay. And you, what can you? See? Can, can you say it? I have the same recommendations. The same recommendations? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and it you too? It was a yeah, group recommendation. Okay, a group. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> and uh, uh, what do you girls do normally for a living? We study. Oh, we what study do you study? Law. law. Okay, you want to defend my rights. <laughs> <laughs> All of you, you, you guys yeah. are lawyers? Yes. Okay, so for how long? For, for how long are we studying? Yeah. Five years. Five years. Yeah. After the remaining two years, two, two, three years, you become a lawyer, I think. Yeah, in a year. In a year? Oh, okay, even a year. So I wish you guys all the best Thank for your you. law <laughs> career and defend the rights of the people and the, even the oppressed very well. <laughs> okay. Don't because of the rich people and deviate from your, the real law. Defend the people that don't have money to defend their rights. Okay. Please, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. One of the best places you can also come to are bars and restaurants around this place. Oh, you can also sit on just, I think, this place during the summer will be when the weather will be very, very hot. There, I think there is kind of fountain here. Water may be coming out, I think. Yeah, that's okay. Uh -huh. So it's kind of nice also. There's so much history in the north. Uh, this house was the first Lidl store. This is where the famous opera composer Leo Janáček bought his instruments. Really? Ooh. Oh. How did you know that? Um, because I was traveling together with someone who's a big fan of the opera and um, mm. and uh, in his family is uh, um, Rudolf Firkusny who studied with Janáček. Oh, okay. Wow. So it's good. At the same time, this is a nightlife video, but at the same time, you are learning a lot of history, some history with this uh, great man from Sweden. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Not as you may. Ukrainska. Ukrainsko. No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> She's from Ukraine and she did. I don't speak Ukraine, I don't speak Russia, so I cannot communicate. But uh, let's continue the journey. <laughs> there was one guy, I was in, in Lithuania and I was like uh, talking to some locals, and there is one Ukrainian guy. He came and he said, oh, you, I said, Where are you from? He said he's from Ukraine. I said, me too. 
okay. Is Ukraine? Maybe he's gonna. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, he, he wants to pick up. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Uh, but I'm filming, but he will be nervous. Uh, so, how are you? Like, he is half Ukraine. Uh, our friend is half Ukraine and half Czech. So, uh, he saw the girl that he had that is Ukraine, so he tried to pick her up. Did you get the number? No, no, I, it wasn't, I wasn't like planning to get her. You know, I just was saying that uh, you were trying to blog her or something, you know. She, she's not really good English. So. You know, she knew, she knew it was already my approach. She knew, the, she, she saw the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> but we want you to take the number. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yo, it's good. So these nine vlogs from Ensford is going to be fun. Some spontaneous short interviews. At the same time, you're learning about history of every city, uh, country I visit, and the people, the culture. And some phone like this, like uh, our friend, we said that is, we think that is going to pick up the girl. The same, those kind of prank also can come along the way. Postal is uh, half, so yes, it, lo yes. it looks promising. So. Okay. I'll, I'll give it a try. Let's go. Oh, that's impressive. Yes. The cathedral. Oh, the story about this cathedral is that uh, the Swedish army invaded and the Swedish general had decided that uh, if they don't manage to capture the city before 11 hours or 12 hours it was actually yes. speaking in Bernard time, then they are going to retreat. Yeah. So what they did here at the uh, Kramsvatteho Petra Pavla, the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral, is that they rang the bells at 11 hours instead of 12. Okay. So that the Swedes got out of the city. Ooh. That's also why the astronomical clock down at the main square yes. releases its marble at 11. Wow. So I think I read a little about the history. That is what he's just saying now. That uh, it's like, if I made mistake, correct me, uh, with my friend this afternoon, Philip. He's a good guy, good shy guy. He told me that from my own understanding, after reading a little about the history, the general then, the strong uh, legend then, is like it tricked the Swedish army. That like the Swedish, like the general back days in the ancient time that want to invade the city, promised that it will capture the city before noon, before the bell rang. Okay. So the guy, the general in, of Czech, he, he is a very smart guy of Bern, no? The, well, so he Czechia asked them. didn't exist back then. It was another country. Back then, it was another total different country. So I, when I use Czech, it means like this place now. So try to uh, get that right. But anyway, the general of this city, Berno, was smart enough. So he knew that the Swedish army back then is powerful. So he decided to tell his people to rang the bell of this cathedral one hour before the time. So as soon as he rang the bell, the general of the Swedish army thought that he has already lost there because he cannot be able to capture them before the time. So they retreat. So this city gained freedom without even shooting a, a single bullet. That's right? Or did I make any mistake? Well, you, you don't know how much they were shooting before it ended. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Sweden destroyed a lot here. Okay, okay. So that was what I got on the history book. So, and what the young man t uh, shared with me. So how, what additional information we missed from this uh, event? You missed pretty much everything of it because there's so much to read, but uh, you would have to get a book for that. Wow. You can walk around the city uh, with a book, uh, stop at every corner, and every house has an interesting story behind it. Wow. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be so long because this video is about night live videos. So, oh, we're going to end the history for now. If you're interested, whenever you are in the city of Berno, try to read about it and walk around and learn about the history of this beautiful city. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So during the open hours, he said you can go hops there.
I didn't know that. I didn't share that in um, in the video in this afternoon when I was walking around the city, uh, the part of uh, Slovakia. Um, what is Slovakia again? The part of Czech Republic you normally don't see in the media because we all we only know about Prague. Everything, almost everything in the media is all about Prague. So this is how that. That is why I love to visit places that is not that known to tourists. So like countryside, towns, villages sometimes also as well. So it is nice. It is good to visit these places. So you will learn and that you give you the authentic history and meet the real people. Because for me, as I've already said in, in my past vlogs, most of the big cities are crowded and mixed with multinational. They are already multinational. So they are already different people all mixed together. So, but when you go out of the really the big cities, then you will see that you are really learning the real history and meeting the real people of the country. Yeah. I want to know, where is the best place for nightlife in the city? In the city? Yeah. Mm, it depends if you want like a club. Yeah. <clears throat> so, or bars where we can like, um, a foreigner. Yeah. I, I want to meet the pretty queens of Czech. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, want to, I want to meet my own, my own queen. So mm. where can I meet her? I think like Sedma and Eben, eh? Mm? Opitkin. 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 Yeah. Uh, are they clubs or bars? Uh, both clubs. are clubs. Both yeah. are clubs. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I don't know, it's really close by. It's close by, in the, in the old town? Yep. Okay. Opitkin and... Sedma and Eben. Sedma Like Seven Heaven. Okay, Seven Heaven. Okay. Yeah. Seven Heaven. But in Czech. In Czech, okay. Anyway, Sorry. thank you very much for sharing. I really appreciate your energy. I don't know why Kate just abandoned us. I don't know what I do, but Kate just abandoned us. <laughs> Kate. I don't know. I don't know she's, what. She's, shy. she's shy. Kate, what have I done? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Am I so rude? No. no. Are we so rude? No. But look at us even, no? You don't even want to look at us. <laughs> because she would laugh at your face. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much yeah, for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you. So guys, what you need to know, Berno is an underground town. So in the evenings, as my uh, colleague have already shared before, maybe uh, when he was sharing that aspect, I didn't uh, film it. So can you share more about it? Because unlike Prague, by this time, everywhere is filled up, so lively. But here it seems like a little bit dull, calm, and he said that after some certain hours of the, of the evening, it is underground. And there are some certain hour is hop. So how can you describe that? How can you explain that? There are different places that are popular at different time of the day. Okay. But, uh, like in Beno, uh, uh, there's, there's an early nightlife going on that uh, starts uh, out on the squares. Okay. Uh, with, with people drinking beer out on the square. Okay. You are right. It is right in the old town, so here you can also come and hang out. But here is for more more mature people, uh, not young. Uh, here is for like not students. Not not students. Here is for more mature people. So that's it. So this is the bar. Yes, nice. So the best thing you have to do whenever you are coming here, you need to get cash in your hand, not credit card, because I don't have cash in my hand. I wanted to got some beers also as well, but no. A because they only take cash. So get that, have that in the back of your mind. This is one of the best places also to hang out, but it is not for students. It, it is for the men and women, <laughs> not for the boys and girls. <laughs> Yo. So guys, there are other great places you can visit in the city. 
I am a little bit tired and I have to go and rest to leave for Slovakia tomorrow. So you can go to these places the locals suggested to us. So don't hesitate to check this place out if you are in Brno. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if this is your first time coming across my videos or my channel. And on to then, see you on the next one. Ciao. Hello. <laughs> They're kind of smiling. <laughs> yeah. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.